It's being called a double-edged sword. British Columbians are being encouraged to avoid all non-essential travel right now. But how does one of the province's top tourism destinations survive without tourists? Well, despite discouragement from health officials without an actual travel ban, it appears many are still opting to take a trip to Whistler. And City News has learned the mountain's policies regarding season pass cancellations has only reinforced that decision. We have a, a coverage plan in place that allows for a refund if a restriction is put in place. City News has spoken with some season pass holders who don't reside in Whistler. They say they want to listen to the advice from provincial health officials asking people to avoid all non-essential travel. But the mountain says it isn't offering refunds on season passes unless an actual travel ban is put in place. In this instance, um, because there, there isn't an actual restriction in place uh, and that, you know, there is still more than 40, 50 percent of the season still left, that person can use that past product um, if and when um, there's an easing off of, of, of any of the recommendations that the health officer is giving. Meanwhile, Whistler's mayor says while business isn't even close to where it usually is at this time of year, the resort community isn't a ghost town. There's definitely cars on the highway. It's, uh, it's, it's busy. It's, um, you know, Whistler is an international destination and certainly there are far less people as a total number that are visiting our community, uh, but there are still people in our community and, um, and that's to be expected. The province is still technically open. And um, so hopefully people will hear that message of, of stay home and stay local. Whistler resident Meg McLean is conflicted with the idea of people visiting from out of town. She says she sees how desperate the local hospitality industry is for customers. We have so many local business friends in town and the entire restaurant can be done by one server and one bartender. The Angus Reed Institute reported in December one out of 10 people planned on going on a trip for the holidays, despite the travel advisory. Well, it's so tricky because you want to make sure everybody's safe and everybody really wants everything to um, go back to the normal as soon as you can. Although, how do you, uh, how do you, how do you pay people? So I don't know. That's really tough. BC's non-essential travel advisory has been extended until at least February 5th. Ashley Burr, City News.